just a okay no yeah 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 that's fine and uh, you will give me the the, the result globally yes, the global after, result yes okay, after okay, that's the fine. result after yes yes okay okay that's fine so take uh, take your time and tell me when you're ready yes <clears throat> nếu mà cần mặt kia nó thì chúng ta mọi người cứ làm quyết xong rồi là giảng viên cứ bắt đầu ạ cái đấy khá là ngắn okay miss uh, Pierre, you can start the class which is okay we'll go over uh, to this later okay um, Uh, so, so, so we we'll see we we'll see the result later. That's right. Jen, hello. Jen, hello. Hello. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we'll see uh, the we we'll see the result later on. Yes, we will. Okay. Okay. No problem. Uh, so uh, we propose to, to move to a practical exercise uh, today. Uh, I saw I saw your your feedback yesterday, so I will uh, arrange a little bit my presentation this morning. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, uh, I would like to to come back on uh, what uh, we we discussed yesterday. Uh, somebody told me uh, it should be interesting uh, to uh, speak about management of change. Uh, for uh, for shareholders, uh, so uh, I try this uh, this evening, uh, this uh, yeah yesterday afternoon. I try to uh, to thought about that, and uh, I raise I raise some some question. I would like to uh, to to discuss with you. Uh, so uh, change uh, shareholders is uh, is for me is not part is not part of the uh, management of change. Why? Uh, first of all, uh, management of change is part of safety management system. So SMS and SMS is related uh, to safety. Uh, so uh, it's it's uh, it's a little bit difficult to link uh, safety with shareholder. I try to do that, and and uh, sincerely, uh, it's 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 a very very difficult. So uh, for me, uh, for me, uh, this this issue is more politics uh, than uh, than safety. Because how to explain, how to, how to express safety uh, with regard to the shoulders. So I have some difficulty uh, to, to link safety and, 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 and shoulders. Uh, that's the reason why, uh, for me, uh, it is uh, very difficult to use uh, that kind of methodology for that. Because I, I, I cannot know how to express safety uh, in that case uh, you don't know what is what is for you what is for you a good a good shareholders in terms of safety what is it first question if you are not able to answer to that kind of question it will be difficult to to imagine a scenario strategy uh, in terms of safety Do you, do you see what I mean? Yes. Uh, good morning, Captain Amba, and uh, yeah, morning. everyone. I, I can see your a lot of uh, the point in here, and then I think it's also very complicated for me to understand also. Yeah, because uh, yeah. if you want to to work in terms of management of change, you have to link. Uh, this modification to safety, and uh, up to now, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to express, uh, in terms of safety, the participation of a new shareholder. I don't know. I don't know because you you don't know the uh, the guideline of, of your new shareholder. You don't know if he would like to reduce the cost. 
if he would like to reduce uh, uh, the resources and so on and so on. If it is in that case, we, we may have a, a link because if you have to, uh, to remove 10% of people, uh, you need to, to list all essential tasks. You need to, to see if everybody has a, a right uh, job description card and so on and so on. But my difficulties now is to, 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 to clearly link safety and shareholder. Yeah. Because I don't know what is a good shareholder in terms of safety. I don't know. I don't know. And I, I, you, well, I, well, I think, I yeah. think for this case, if we narrow down to uh, the, the 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 in case of the shareholder come and then the scope of the fleet change, it should mm -hmm. come to like uh, a, a lot of the safety concern, for example. And then yeah. we 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 just do the analysis for this kind of narrow down but even in this case even in the the, the change of the scope of fleet i mm -hmm. think it it also like we we need to do a, a huge analysis for for this yeah change. yeah for sure mm -hmm. yeah if we, if you change your fleet you you move from airbus to boeing or boeing airbus uh, for sure it's a major change and it's, it's a very deep, deep change. And you have to divide your change in, in very small parts uh, to, to, to analyze uh, very, very precisely, very accurately, all, all uh, small parts. I see. Which I think is, yeah. it is very, uh, thank you very much for your like uh, considering on, on this topic. But uh, I think um, we, we just keep follow, uh, following on the topic that uh -huh. uh, you mentioned and that the, the course mentioned previously. I think it is more suitable and then maybe more easy. It is because uh, the, 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 the first approach, uh, approach for a lot of the, 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 the trainee in here and uh, also, uh, of course, also me is the very new, uh, like, uh, because uh, my experience uh, uh, for the CP just only three years, so a, yeah, a lot yeah. of the the idea I still it is new for me, and then I need time to 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 absorb and understand more. So mm -hmm. this one, I think we we just keep follow the the topic, uh, the the task you assign. Yesterday uh -huh. is more suitable. For, for this idea, I think it, it is not really, it's uh, not a suitable question uh, from uh, my side also. I no, think no, all, all, all questions are good. And, and uh, that's the reason why I tried to work on it uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, but for me, basically, management of change uh, could, be, uh, could be easily uh, handled uh, if, you, if you can refer to safety. Uh, if it is not uh, easy to refer to safety, and for a shareholder, I don't know how to refer to safety. Uh, he, I think uh, the methodology of management of change is not very relevant. It's my opinion. I don't know. Uh, per perhaps I am wrong. But for me, uh, it will be very, very difficult to link safety and, and shareholder because uh, you, you don't know shareholder basically it's money it's politics uh, and, and and that's all and it give you it give you orders to, to do so so and so uh, after that if you can translate if you can translate that in terms of safety uh, yes you may work uh, new shareholder want to buy uh, new aircraft uh, new aircraft okay so it is not shareholder itself the problem of management of change. It, it will be the uh, introduction, the phasing of new aircraft, uh, a new network, and so on. So, so uh, you, you, you see, we have to move from shareholder, yes, but to, uh, to, to, the, uh, to, to the intention of the shareholder. So, uh, uh, shareholder itself, for me, uh, it is not easy to work uh, with that kind of methodology. 
Okay, you agree? I did not tell you. I did not tell you. Hello. I did not tell you. What else did I say? Ah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry okay. about my mistake. Uh, no, no. Thank you very much for uh, your consideration, for your uh, information and guidance in here. Uh, I think it is uh, it is very good to you know to 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 understand a little bit more about mm -hmm. the the, many, the management of chain in this uh, in in in. in this particular example maybe it's not uh, really suitable but uh, yeah. maybe the, the scope is too 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 yeah. broad or something yeah yeah yeah, yeah but, but yeah, in uh, my opinion yeah in my opinion it's too broad and in my opinion it's not really related to safety uh, i think it could be related to safety for example, when the shareholder coming, for example, for example, uh, you know they 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 like uh, take the 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 the, the, the possession of the airline, mm -hmm. for example, because if the shareholder take the, the, the big change of the share, mm -hmm. it can change to the you know the way. The way that the, the the way or the culture of management, for for example, at the top management, for example, yeah, yeah, and, but... and that could be a a point to take care, for example. But but this one, I think, just my like uh, my 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 point of view. Maybe it's not correct. <laughs> just like uh, the personal thinking only. For for this course, I think we we just uh, trying to absorb the the the, the general uh, methodology of uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah the the, the, the yeah. management of change. I think it's very good for us already. Yeah. So it, this one we can just like, ignore, it, please. Yeah, the methodology is is quite quite uh, quite good for the uh, for 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 some uh, safety issue. We show you. We show you uh, through the example. Uh, it's very easy, but sometimes uh, it, it is not. It is not uh, very easy to handle that kind of methodology for 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 such uh, sh such change like uh, shareholders. Okay, we continue. Yep, sure. Thank you very much for your no problem, no and problem. guidance. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So uh, up, uh, still. Uh, Okay, so uh, yesterday we spoke about uh, about the bow tie model. So I just introduced you uh, some uh, some guideline uh, regarding that. Uh, yeah, bow tie model. Why bow tie? Because it's like a bow tie. Uh, when you when you draw when you draw the different uh, uh, parts, uh, you have you have a bow tie. So uh, what we call uh, how do we use that? Uh, on our left hand, you have a threat you may face with uh, during operation. Uh, so uh, either at the corporate, <coughs> sorry, either at the corporate level or at uh, business unit level. Business unit means, for example, in flight, in cabin, in dispatch, in in maintenance, and so on. Uh, right hand side of the model, you have a, a, the, the accident scenario, uh, for example, loss of control in flight, for example, mid-air collision, for example, runway excursion, for example, uh, you, you may have a lot of, uh, lot of accidents. Uh, you, you, if you don't have a specific taxonomy, you may go to uh, ICAO, to IATA, to uh, some organization, and a uh, lot of experts has already worked on, on a list of accidents, list of uh, threat log, and so on and so on. Uh, so, and in the middle, in the middle, you have a, what we call 
uh, unwanted event. We'll see later on, on an example, how does it work uh, and uh, why we call that unwanted event. But to have a good, a good approach, to have a good look uh, of an accident, we need, to, we need a model. So basically, airline use a bow tie model, but you can use other model. Uh, it is uh, it is uh, easy to use that because uh, we 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 see uh, we we see that threats lead to unwanted event lead to accident. Basically, uh, you may tell me yes, but an accident is not uh, something very linear like that. Yes, but uh, you 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 will explain a lot of incident, a lot of accident with that kind of model, even if it is not. Uh, the uh, magic ball, uh, crystal ball, uh, but but it's easy to represent to represent uh, the, the the accident scenario. Uh, so uh, you see that uh, between threat and uh, between unwanted event, we may put lot of uh, lot of things, uh, barrier defenses, and so on uh, to avoid to uh, reach the unwanted event. Uh, that means uh, that kind of barrier, uh, the, 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 the green walls, uh, that kind of barrier comes from uh, all, all uh, department. Uh, uh, TICAS, TICAS system is, uh, is a barrier, uh, procedure uh, to disarm uh, slide is also a barrier uh, and so on and so on. So you have a mix of barriers coming from maintenance, coming from uh, air traffic control, coming from uh, flight uh, department, ground ops and so on. So you, you put barrier before the unwanted event to avoid to reach the unwanted event, okay? And uh, that uh, kind of barrier uh, allow you to uh, have a control in your, in your system. The control means that you don't move too quickly to the unwanted event. Uh, after that, we can do the same. <clears throat> we can do the same uh, after the unwanted event. If, if uh, unfortunately, you reach the unwanted event. So uh, before going to the accident, before falling into the accident, you may have over barrier to, uh, to avoid the accident. And we call that kind of barrier after the unwanted event, we call that recovery, recovery barrier. Okay, so you see what uh, Bowtie uh, bow, bow design is, is quite easy to use uh, to explain a little bit some, uh, some outstanding event in your airline or, or some, some accident. But once again, uh, it is not a crystal ball uh, to discover the next accident uh, because it will be a multi-phase accident. Okay, so this linear approach is easy to use, and and you may you may you may understand uh, a little bit uh, what is threat, what is the relation with accident, what is an unwanted event, how we may proceed to avoid unwanted event, how we may proceed to recover after the unwanted event to avoid the accident. So you see that. With that, uh, we, we, we have a, a global approach of, 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 uh, of the safety. And after that, uh, during the daily operations, when you receive a, a pilot report, when you receive maintenance report, when you receive a ATC report and so on and so on, or when you look at external uh, reports, uh, you may see that what we put in place, the, the, the green bricks are strong enough or not, and uh, you may trust in that kind of uh, defenses. Okay. Any question regarding the, uh, the Bowtie uh, model? Hello? Hello, hello. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So 
uh, I tried to, to show you on an example how to use what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, uh, model. So when we, we perform a management change, first as mentioned yesterday during the uh, theoretical approach, first we have to develop the case for, uh, for management of change, framework, timeline, and so on. Uh, after that, we have to conduct a risk opportunity and to plan and to plan our analysis to our, our exercise. We prepare a project plan, we implement the change, and uh, after implementing the change, we have to check if what we put in place is efficient, is correct, is relevant or not, and that is that will be what will be the, the follow-up. So uh, I take as a demo of the methodology and as a demo of the bow tie, I take an example. Uh, example will be uh, we plan uh, we plan to to operate some aircraft uh, without TIC system for any reason uh, because the manufacturer uh, plan to do uh, to do an update of the system plan to so it's it's not a real case but just to play just to play with the methodology to play with the bow tie to play with the matrix uh, I, I try to, to show you a, a kind a kind of demo uh, with with uh, this uh, this example so to start to start uh, so the my my boss told me uh, we want to operate uh, some uh, Airbus 321 without ICAS on that one network uh, for uh, six months, for example. Okay, so as safety manager, I take my pencil and I try uh, to uh, analyze the change uh, following that. So first, I define the limit of my of my studies. So is it for all the fleet? Is it for some aircraft? Is it uh, yes, some type of aircraft? So first, study frame regarding the fleet. How what, what kind of aircraft? How many aircraft? Okay. Uh, if I operate without TCAS, is it just for some flights, ferry flight, uh, revenue flight. So I have to clarify that. Is it possible or not according to regulation, according to uh, uh, minimum equipment list and so on and so on. So, okay, I have to define, to define that. And uh, also in, in, in a frame, uh, on which network is it just uh, for a flight uh, uh, from point A to point B, or for all the network, I put the airplane everywhere. No, no, just on some specific area. So I have to first clarify the framework for my study. Once uh, this job is, is done, who will be involved in my study? So I, I need to take expert from somewhere. So uh, I need to, uh, to, to check uh, what kind of people will be involved. So we operate without TICAS. For sure, the flight department is deeply involved in that uh, because the uh, flight department is in charge of, uh, of crew, of training, and so on and so on. Uh, perhaps the training organization, I don't know. At the time being, uh, I try to have a, a rough approach of the system. Okay, maintenance uh, because uh, because uh, TCAS is uh, is maintained by uh, by maintenance guys. So perhaps uh, I need uh, people from maintenance. Perhaps I need uh, I need an external expert such as uh, such as uh, the, uh, the controller uh, ATC ATC controller. Okay, so second step, I move, I, uh, I try to make up my team and, and uh, to, to nominate a lead uh, to, to manage, uh, to manage uh, what kind of brainstorming, okay? After that, 
uh, after that, some benchmark. Some benchmark to look at uh, what happen, uh, what happen in in the real life. Uh, some company uh, already uh, perform that kind of flight. Yes, no. Uh, the regulation is clear or not to do that. I can do that just in my country. I can do that outside. Uh, so some benchmark. Uh, after that, uh, I need a data collection to know to know a little bit to know a little bit uh, how does it work in that case. Uh, so uh, I go to to my uh, uh, ATC uh, to my ATC to check. Uh, what kind of report uh, we, may, we may have regarding that kind of operation, pilot report uh, inside the company, inside the company, inside the country, outside. So, okay, data collection for that. Uh, then to, to manage and to check the effectiveness of my change or to see the state of my operation. I need uh, to, uh, to have some uh, key performance indicator. Uh, so for example, just an example, uh, I, I, I emphasize again, it's just an example. So uh, as KPI uh, should be interesting to have a number of millier collision. So currently, what is my number of familiar collision? All TICAS are working in my fleet, but I have some mid-air collision or over company. So you may, you may see that uh, in terms of likelihood, uh, if you just take uh, your experience, perhaps you will have a very, uh, a, a very small number in comparison with uh, if you take the uh, ICAO database or your uh, authority database. Okay. So, uh, before the change, my uh, number of millier collision was uh, uh, one per uh, uh, one per ninety days, for example. And uh, my objective uh, will be uh, to maintain at this level for sure, at least at least uh, if I fly without. Okay. After that, I try to analyze what kind of scenario may I face with. Uh, in that case, uh, what kind of uh, unwanted event and what kind of barrier may I put in place? Okay, so this is uh, roughly the way to proceed uh, when you when you try to, to, to start the management of change studies. And uh, so you may add uh, over, over topics, but basically, if you go uh, through each uh, each item, uh, you avoid to, to waste time and and you avoid to reinvent the wheel sometimes because when you uh, when you proceed by ben by benchmark when you perform a, a real a real and and big data collection uh, you already see uh, what kind of accident scenario you may face with uh, you may see if uh, what kind of barrier uh, are in place, are strong enough, are weak, and so on and so on. So, as a demo, uh, I took this example. It's not very realistic, but it's just to show you the methodology, uh, to guide you in, 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 a, in, in a methodology. Okay? So, after that, we try to... Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, do do you have up to now? Do you have any any question? Any any remark rela related to 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 my uh, uh, to my way to proceed? Hello. Yes. Hello. You start with the study frame and then move on to people. Um, Benchmark that data collection KPIs and accident scenario. Does it have to be in this particular order, or can it be like switch around? 
Non, non, non. Basically, it's a, it's a logical, uh, logical way pro to proceed. Because the first, uh, if, it will be difficult to, to, to find out uh, the uh, experts uh, if you don't clearly define the frame of your analysis. Okay. You see what I mean? So, okay, so, so uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you have to start first by uh, delimiting, uh, delimiting uh, to, to know the boundary of your study. Uh, the, so the study frame is first, uh, the first point. Uh, after that, people involved, who are the experts you, you plan to choose? So benchmark data collection. After that, uh, accident scenario, KPIs and so on. Yeah, you may you, you, you may change uh, the the order, but uh, but yes, first study frame. Uh, who are involved in the in the in the analysis? What is the benchmark data collection? You see? Okay. I continue, or you have a question? Please continue. Okay, I continue. So, if I take uh, the example of, uh, of that, so I, I use a bow tie. Uh, yesterday, we spoke about a report regarding uh, a mid air collision uh, during climb. Okay, so my accident, my accident uh, uh, should be, should be mid air collision. Uh, for sure, and uh, unwanted event, what I would like to avoid. It's uh, important deviation, aircraft, aircraft deviation in a vertical uh, posi position. Okay, so what uh, I, I can put in place to avoid, uh, to avoid the unwanted event. So we have, uh, for example, the uh, uh, air traffic uh, monitoring participation, ATM regulation procedure clearly defined and relevant, ATM regulation procedure adequately applied. Okay. Uh, you may have uh, some barrier, some defenses coming from flight, who are correctly trained for TKS use, uh, crew react adequately, who understand and follow. So you may add, uh, you may add a lot of defenses, but uh, I just show you some, some defenses. Okay, and uh, uh, despite uh, all, all defenses, uh, you reach the unwanted event. Basically, Viticas is, uh, is, is a good solution, a good uh, hardware, uh, but uh, at the condition that the crew react adequately to the Viticas one. So, if you have all these uh, defenses in place, you may consider that your probability, your scenario to have a mid-air collision will be very remote. Okay. So, I take, I continue on this example, and what is the current state of my operation? Basically, I, 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 call, I uh, I come back again on the exercise. We try to fly without TCAS. Okay, so what is the situation now? We are with a TCAS. So basically, what we may face with is a mid air collision. Okay, mid air collision, uh, due to all the barrier we put in place, we may, we, we, we may uh, consider that. The uh, probability to have a mid air collision will be either improbable, so two, or extremely improbable because the TCA still is working and basically uh, flight crew are trained for that and uh, will react properly. So basically, uh, the uh, risk probability will be one or two. Uh, severity, so for, uh, for uh, uh, a mid-air collision, severity maximum, so catastrophic. So we may consider that before the change, so flying with the TCAS, we have uh, 
un euh, risk tolerability around 2A or 1 alpha. 2 alpha or 1 alpha. Okay. So if we continue, uh, what happened if we fly without VTCAS? Uh, without, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. So without TCAS, we may move from uh, extremely from one to one or two to uh, three or four. Why? If you remove the TCAS barrier, you may increase the probability to have a midair collision. So the risk probability will increase to three or four, will be remote or will be occasional. So you see that in that case, management of change, you plan to operate, uh, to operate TKS, uh, we operate aircraft without TKS, you will move from a secure region to an unsecure because you, you, you go in a, in, a red, uh, in a red number. So what does it mean? The action plan, at the end of your study, you, you have to perform an action plan. So we, you move from yellow line, yellow zone to red zone, yellow zone with TCAS, red zone without TCAS. So what kind of action plan may we, may we put in place? Either we cancel operation, no boss, it is not possible to do that. It is, uh, it, uh, yeah, the impact on safety is too important. So we cannot, we cannot do that and uh, we can sell operation. So, so if he, 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 it was just for one aircraft, no problem. If it is for a, a complete fleet, it, it should be a problem and so on. But one action plan, one, uh, one solution will be to cancel. Second solution will be to limit the number of aircraft, because if you limit the number of aircraft, you limit the risk probability. Okay, perhaps so it could be a solution. Otherwise, your flight will be only uh, with instructor. Why? Because uh, instructors are very well trained and so on. You may, you may consider that uh, your safety will be better if uh, that kind of flight uh, are performed by instructor, perhaps. Or only for, for positioning flight, or only for maintenance flight, and so, so and so. So you see that via, according to your, uh, to your conclusion, uh, according to your conclusion, and in that case, conclusion is with the change, we'll move from a yellow zone to a red zone. You may have some, uh, some action plan. Okay. So if you do not cancel operation and you go, uh, you go uh, for, for that kind of change, for sure, you need to evaluate what you put in place. Uh, if what you put in place is efficient or not, and report to your, uh, to your accountable manager uh, the result of your analysis. Do you, is it okay for you? So first, first what is your feedback regarding my, my demo? Uh, this demo, the objective is just to, to show you some guidelines how to work when you proceed when you proceed for uh, management of change. Uh, and for sure, uh, I do that alone. But uh, this that kind of uh, of study has to be performed uh, with experts from uh, maintenance, ATC, and so on and so on. It is not just from one expert, otherwise you lost a part of, of, of the uh, analysis. I give you the floor. Hello? Yeah. We're here. Yeah. 
So what about uh, the short demonstration? Say again. Yeah, can you say again? Is that a question that you want us to answer? Yeah. Oh, quite uh, Pierre, are you asking about the demo that you just showed us? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regarding, regarding that, do you have any 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 feedback, any question? Is it? Uh, he, he seems uh, he seems interesting, not interesting. Uh, what what do you think about that? Đặc biệt là hỏi về demo của đồng viên vừa nói chuyện một cái case study ạ. Mọi người nghĩ thế nào? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I turn back on the uh, previous page. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Pierre. Yeah. So, I mean, it's the page. Okay, so it's the page that you show the demo yeah it's the different one the the second one the, this one uh, is no. a no. so this is a bow tie right this is not the case study right the other slide with the case study yeah yeah Yeah, this page, this slide, is just uh, methodology to, to work on the management of change. And this one, this one is how I manage my demo. Okay. I don't think anyone has any feedback or questions. So I think we are good, right? Was it uh, clear enough for you? Uh, I think the for the terrorists, we uh, we uh, with a bit catch up with the both terrorist uh, models. So please keep uh, going on to the next part. Hello? Hello, hello? No question. Please keep going on. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, no question. So he, uh, was it was it enough clear? Yes, basically, yes. It's clear that for okay. Uh, so uh, so I suggest uh, we move to the to the exercise. Uh, before the exercise, so I saw you have uh, already uh, uh, make up the teams. Uh, so I will, uh, before starting, I will show you a short video uh, just to, 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 to introduce the, the pushback, for example, I, sh I saw you, uh, I saw you uh, an accident, a big incident, yeah, an accident uh, uh, regarding, regarding a pushback. So it could be part uh, of the analysis. Uh, so what I suggest, if you don't mind, but uh, I, I, I propose, uh, I propose you. So uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, I have mentioned five exercises. If you, if you have your own exercise, we can work on 
uh, directly uh, directly online uh, we can try like i do that for the uh, uh, management of change in terms of uh, shareholders uh, it's not a problem for me if you have uh, something uh, uh, ready to analyze or something like that we can do that together uh, during the session otherwise what i propose you i show you the film uh, it's uh, it's a film regarding a pushback after that uh, each uh, team uh, work during 30 minutes on its subject, uh, on its uh, on its uh, yeah, exercise. Uh, after after that, we each teams present somebody present the uh, the the conclusion uh, during 50 minutes, and I show you during 50 minutes my uh, my way to proceed. Uh, for each exercise, do you do you agree with that kind of methodology or not? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I I show you I show you a film. I show you a film if everything is okay. Uh, you you see Tien, you see my 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 screen. No problem. Yes. yes. Okay. But so I I try I try to 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 lend the film. And you see and you heard something? Yeah. Yes, I can hear also. Okay. The two four two five. Are you there? Check in two four two five over north. Watch the two four two five starts flowing. You're two and a half fine on RJ. Speeds are good. Wind three hundred and fourteen gust twenty. There's more on the track. Russia 245 for Atlanta 48 and 300 is 18. For Atlanta 48, Russia 245. To 245, high speed right, Charlie 4, ground 1219. 219, Russia 245. Ground over Russia 2425 is uh, Charlie 4 for probably. Jet 2425, good day. Right on Delta 4 to Delta, hold short of runway 33 right. Delta 4, Delta short 33 right. What's T425? Roger. Company sitting on that gate is supposed to push 10 minutes ago. Okay, okay. Okay. Jet 2425, just to get you out of the way for a few minutes, take runway 33 right and then Victor, short of Bravo. Uh, 33 right, Victor, short of Bravo, I should 2425. I'll start the login process. Why not? 2425, ground 2165, I'll see it. 2425, see it. I said 24, 25, ground taxi, Alpha, and hold short of Romeo. Alpha, short Romeo, I said 24, 25. Hey, come down. Anh Hải, anh không hiểu gì anh cứ giải thích được tiếng Việt nhé. Không, cái này, cái từ này, nó không liên quan, nó đang muốn lệch cả cường đi vào. Oh, push back your discretion call for Tom. Mm -hmm. 9, 2, 4, 2, 5, did you make a late turn to line up parallel with the lead of mine? Hello, 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 Can you need the red 
vehicles right now. Who's calling ground? Ground, red 2 plus 2. Red 2 plus 2, proceed to Juliet. Cross runway 1, 5 left. Bravo, cross runway 2, 3, all traffic holding. Uh, sorry, red 22, cross runway 2, 3, X right. Romeo, Alpha Tango. Ground, this is Red 5, confirm Delta Alpha, short Alpha Tango. A Delta Alpha, and we're going to do something better than that, uh, but yeah, straight up Alpha, we're down Red 5. Delta Alpha, straight up uh, Alpha for Red 5 and company. Red 5, the quickest way is going to be Delta Alpha and into Alpha Kilo, everything will be waiting for you. Delta Alpha, Alpha Kilo, everything's waiting for us, Red 5 and company. <laughs> And Red 5, everybody's uh, going to be waiting for this. You can call 8 for now on 122.27. Everyone's waiting on 122.27. Sir, do you see anything from the tower? Uh, we did see a flash a while ago. Right now, uh, no, at the moment. Uh, we don't see anything. Uh, we think the fire is out. Probably not. So, Alpha Tango, I'll contact April on 122.27. If you're going Alpha Kilo, they are evacuating. Alpha Kilo, they are evacuating. Copy. Paper and Red 5. Red 5 and company, proceed your discretion and Alpha Kilo link to the, uh, to the aircraft. Alpha Kilo link to take in the gate. Uh, Bravo 12. Bravo 12, Red 5, Bravo. Okay, if it's 50, 2 0 10. It's to a 7 plus 1, proceed your discretion to uh, link to, to Bravo 12. Thank you, Bravo 12, thanks. So, you see that a simple process like uh, uh, the pushback can lead to, to, a major, to a major accident. What do you think about this, uh, this film? It's amazing, yeah? <laughs> amazing, so uh, yeah, we push, we push the airplane, so it's quite simple and, uh, and you may face with uh, that kind of accident. So uh, pushback procedure, pushback process is not, uh, it's not so easy, and then you see that uh, you have a lot of people involved involved with a pushback system, a pushback driver, pilot, controller, and so on and so on. Okay, so uh, ta -la 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 -la. You, we come back on the, on the quiz, or, or we start uh, right now with the exercise? Yeah, uh, uh, we will start on the quiz with the I think this is a suggested method. So we will come to the quiz and then yeah. we can have a quick break. After the yeah. break, we, because we need time to put everyone in the break, break rooms into different groups. So it takes yeah. us a few minutes and everyone can have a break. And then when we come back from the break, then we can start the discussion. Is that okay with you? Okay, so we wrap up the quiz. Okay, yes. 15 minute breaks, and after uh, we start uh, the, the exercise. Okay? Yes, yes, after the break, the exercise. Okay, after the break, no problem. And for the exercise, I propose you work 30 minutes, and after that, we, uh, you, you present each group, uh, present during 50 minutes the result, and I uh, in line, I show you. I show you my way to proceed for the same example. You agree? Yes, we agree. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, if you can see on the screen, this is a result of the quizzes. So uh, it is suggested that you go would go over the answers quickly. Okay, so no problem. Uh, SMS. So uh, basically, all all uh, requirements, all standard as uh, put in Annex 19. Uh, at the beginning, uh, at the beginning of the SMS, uh, it was in uh, 2008, uh, all requirements were put in Annex 1, in Annex 8, in Annex 6, uh, depending on we are speaking about licenses, we are speaking about uh, air waffiness, we are speaking about so, so, and so. And uh, since uh, 2019, I think uh, a new a new annex has been created and it is annex 19. So everything now, if you need uh, to, to, to learn a little bit more about the uh, SMS is uh, in uh, uh, annex 19. So it's just uh, standard. And uh, if you need to go deeper, uh, deeper and deeper, you, you can go to the ICAO uh, SMS manual 
revision, I don't know if it is revision three or four, but you go, you go, you go and, and discuss with Mr. Google and you will see, uh, you will see everything on that. Okay, question number two, uh, the uh, management of change. So when you uh, look at the structure of the SMS, different pillar, pillar one is dedicated to uh, policy, uh, to process, process and so on. Pillar two is dedicated to tools, uh, hazard log, uh, matrix, uh, risk management and so on. Pillar three is dedicated to, uh, to safety assurance and specifically uh, to management of change. And at the end, pillar four is dedicated to uh, the promotion, training and promotion regarding, uh, regarding SMS. Okay, number three, question, uh, question three. Uh, so as mentioned yesterday, uh, when we, we took some example, uh, when we, when, uh, we discussed about what is a hazard, what is a threat, what is a risk. Basically, when you speak about risk, uh, keep in mind, uh, keep in mind the matrix. On one side, you have a likelihood of a scenario. So, uh, if we come back in my uh, on my demo scenario, scenario is uh, the uh, probability uh, to to have a media collision. For example, and uh, you have on the other side the severity. So uh, risk every time will be expressed in terms of degrees of likelihood and severity. That's all. Uh, question number four. Question number four, management of change. Uh, so it's a formal process, systemic and proactive approach. So I mentioned yesterday also, we try to analyze what could be happen if I change something in my process, organization, and so on. So, so it's, it's uh, more or less what we can call proactive, proactive, predictive, uh, never mind the term you use. Okay. And uh to be to be sure that uh, everybody will uh, speak the same language will understand to avoid any resistance uh, to the change and so on uh, it is required by the uh, by the uh, sms uh, uh, standards uh, to put it in a documentation okay so the first two answer are, are correct okay what are the main principles for successful management of change? For sure, you have to understand the change. So I come back on, on the exercise, exercise uh, regarding uh, shareholder. Uh, it's quite difficult to understand the, the frame. Uh, so basically, if you don't understand the frame or if it is difficult uh, to clearly define the boundary of, of your, of your uh, uh, study, uh, it, it was not a good approach. So first, understand the change. Uh, second, you have to, to plan what you do. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a quality assurance process. Uh, when you have uh, uh, performed your uh, plan, so you implement it and you communicate your change. So all answers all answer are, are correct in that case. Okay, number six, what kind of resource you allocate? Uh, for sure, if you perform a deep change, if you need a lot of experts, uh, internal experts coming from uh, each disciplines or external experts or something like that. Uh, so depending on the depth of the change, you will, uh, you will have uh, less or more, uh, more or less uh, experts. Okay, uh, seven, uh, how to monitor effectiveness of your change. Uh, so uh, you perform a change. So you put in place some uh, KPI first. Uh, you, as I show you in my, in my uh, demo, for example, and uh, after that, you may also perform some audits 
uh, internal audit, external audit, never mind. So uh, to, to see if what you put in place uh, is relevant, efficient. Keep in mind that when you, 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 you perform something, uh, when, you, when you add, uh, when you do uh, safety recommendations, so before writing uh, the safety recommendation, keep in mind how can I how can I check the effectiveness of what I require? So it's it's very important because very often we write something. Uh, uh, you have to put uh, uh, maintenance department has to modify the process of so so and so. Yes, but how can I check that? How can I check the effectivity? The process, yes, the process will be written and so on, but the difficulty is behind. And how can I check uh, that the new process, the new procedure, the new job description, and so on and so on, never mind, uh, is, is efficient? So if you don't have the answer to that question, your recommendation is not uh, written on very, very is, is not uh, uh, written uh, with the right uh, words. Okay. Uh, -da 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 -da. Eight. Eight. Who is involved in management of change? So, for sure, everybody, everybody in the company is involved. If you, if you do that in your business unit, in your department, uh, without talking with your neighbor, without talking with the SMS manager, without talking with your a CEO or a contable manager, you lost time, you lost resource, and it will be very difficult to, uh, to, to, to put in place your, your, your change. So, yes, everybody has to be involved uh, from, the front, uh, from the top management to the frontline actor. And, and, and uh, for sure, uh, if you change uh, something uh, related to some subcontractor, uh, it should be interesting also to involve uh, to involve your uh, subcontractor. Okay, yes, nine. Uh, is it necessary to review periodically the conclusion? Uh, yes, for sure, it's necessary. I show you why, because you move from state A to state B, and uh, you need to know if uh, if the new situation. Uh, the new process uh, and so on uh, is, uh, is uh, correctly uh, applied, correctly implemented, correctly uh, is safe and so on. So for that, you need to, to check that. What is the first step of a change analysis? Define the system, yes. Ah, hazard mapping, uh, you, oh, oh, yeah, a lot of part, a uh, lot of part of you mentioned uh, hazard mapping. Uh, yeah, but to start with the hazard mapping, you need to define the boundary of your study. Otherwise, uh, you put, uh, for example, uh, you you study the uh, how to how to open how to how to load uh, the hold uh, the holds of your aircraft. Uh, if you do not uh, clearly define the boundary of your study, uh, either you put people from ground uh, handling uh, or, uh, or people from uh, or, or cabin crew or co cockpit crew. So depending on, on the, the boundary and the limit of your, of your uh, system, you will uh, you will take into account uh, some, some hazard. So first, first, clearly define the system. And when you have defined the system, you may start with the hazard mapping regarding the limit you took in place, you, 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 you put in place. So, uh, okay, so, so roughly, the result is uh, quite good, no? For me, yes. Huh? Yes. So, so, so the the average uh, over by ten is uh, how much? Uh, the, the global, the global average uh, is uh, how much is uh, it? The average is seventy-two. Seventy-two. So okay. So it's above the limit. Above, above, above the yeah, above the limit. Seventy-two. Okay. So. 
uh, break Ok, anh ơi, anh cũng phải có một câu hỏi về bài quiz sẽ được trả lời cho Ok, so yes, wait for a second, I will show you the Mọi người trước khi break thì em có một chút gì ạ? Đây là anh chỗ cho Show cho cả Um, how long? How long is the break? We come back at uh, at what? 10:30. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. 10:30. We come back. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Có một break nhỏ nhỏ 10 rưỡi sẽ quay lại ạ. Mọi người để zoom lại cho em để em chia phòng luôn ạ, cho thành các nhóm và các chủ đề luôn. À một chắc các anh chị ở đây cũng phải một số người phải cho zoom nữa. Cho zoom luôn tại vì là sẽ có nhóm khác nhau với các địa điểm khác nhau để em bọn em sẽ chủ động chia phòng break và mười rưỡi chúng ta quay lại và sẽ chủ động thảo luận luôn về cái chủ đề của mình ạ. Em chia rồi ạ, em chia rồi ạ, ok, thank you. Yeah, mọi người có gửi. Không có giống như rút qua mọi người ạ. Dạ, mất đấy. Vâng, đúng rồi, đúng rồi, vẫn đến rút đấy ạ. Rút là ICU, ICU, ICU ạ. Đúng rồi, có một cái rút đấy. Cái gì vậy em? Bởi vì ok là như có anh Hải Anh Vũ Kha thì bạn Thì chắc là thì nó sẽ xin bài bởi vì anh Hải Anh Vũ Kha này Không biết là một phút để tự Không, không biết đấy lại có cả anh Thắng và anh Hải Anh ạ Thế thì chuyển thôi ạ, cái này chuyển đơn giản thôi Đúng rồi Vâng, thế thì phút đấy thế thì mạnh quá Mạnh quá, vâng, thế thì chuyển Chuyển một anh đấy, anh đắm ra một thằng ở nhóm đấy vâng Thế anh đắm ra phải anh sẽ cắt nhóm luôn Vâng, vâng để bọn em chuyển luôn Thế nghi là một thằng anh thắng, một thằng hải anh về nhóm của chị Rồi, về nhóm của chị ạ Vâng, rồi Nhưng mà bút này có hai người thôi Vâng, một vẫn còn một vẫn còn là mạnh ra đến cả hai Đúng rồi, có lúc là có em rất yếu vậy Thôi nhưng nhóm IPU này là cho đồng chí này này Thằng này Cái kia kia bằng IPU đúng vật mà Thế là Thế là Thế là là Thế là Thế là Thế là Thế là Thế là Thế thì chắc là hơi nhiều rồi, nhiều lần. Có nhóm nhưng mà nó có cái break out room ngay trong room đấy luôn ạ. Vâng, nó ai cho room này thì nó tự chịu. Hay là mình Có một room vâng. Cái nhóm một là có ai học ở đây Nhóm một à? Nhóm nào mình cũng phải có Nhóm một có Anh Phong này Anh Phong này Anh Phong này Anh Phong này Anh Phong Nhóm của ai này? Của anh Thắng hay của anh Hải anh đây? Anh anh Nguyễn Phúc Phong là của anh Nguyễn Phúc Phong là của anh Nguyễn Phúc Phong Anh Phong Đâu, anh Phong như thế này Nhóm em có anh Phong ở đây này Có hai chị em và hai anh em ở đây này Đang xe cho cho anh chị mình đi xe
Please, guide us, guide our group to learn a little bit more from the way to deal with the tasks. Yeah. So, 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 what, what is, uh, what is important first? Uh, it's to develop the case. So, the case we consider, we consider that uh, we operate. We have to develop a pushback procedure. Xin lỗi anh chị nào vui lòng tắt mic nha, tắt mic giúp để nghe thầy được. We never do that. We never do that. And so, uh, first, we have to develop the case. Uh, to develop the case, uh, that means uh, uh, we consider that it's a, a deep change, a deep change, and uh, some, and uh, so uh, so are quite clear. Back push back is uh, is is quite clear for for operation. Uh, so after that, uh, you need. Make up. You may put. Excuse me. Uh, your internet is not uh, stable. Uh, we can't hear you. I'm sorry. Hello. Yes, we can hear you now clearly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, we the we we limit the frame. Of, of the uh, pushback is quite clear. So uh, he start he start uh, from from one point to another point. So so it's quite clear. After that, you have to to to, to, uh, to put in my team uh, to study that kind of management change. The pilot for sure. For sure, pilot, uh, and uh, after that, uh, for sure, the uh, ground handler, ground handling, who is in charge of pushing the aircraft, uh, and uh, and also uh, perhaps the maintenance, uh, the maintenance, because uh, in case of problem with uh, during the push uh, with the nose wheel, uh, you you may face with uh, some issue, so. Roughly uh, in your in your team to study to study that it should be interesting to have uh, people from uh, from the line so pilot because uh, they will be they will be in the cockpit uh, to have uh, uh, people from ground handling because ground handling will be in charge of the uh, the tractor. Uh, the uh, air, uh, air unit, uh, electrical air unit, and so on, and uh, and uh, also uh, with uh, with uh, maintenance uh, in case of uh, in case of major issue uh, regarding uh, regarding the push, regarding, for example, with uh, the uh, regarding with the uh, uh, nose wheel. Okay. So, first, uh, to clearly know the limit of your study, it's quite clear. It's quite clear. A pushback is a, is a phase of flight very clear. After that, you need to uh, to look at the uh, to look at uh, who will be part of your study. So. Uh, for example, it should be interesting to have people uh, from maintenance, from flight, uh, from uh, ground handling, uh, and so on. And uh, so, after that, you have a make up your 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 your, your team, and uh, it should be interested. After that, to to, uh, to look at some feedback. So feedback. You don't reinvent the, reinvent the wheel. Feedback. You have to look at over company in your country outside how they proceed and so on. 
Yeah, it is not necessary to reinvent the wheel, so uh, it should be interesting to uh, look at what happened in our company, uh, to collect uh, some feedback regarding what kind of major issue uh, they face with, uh, and so on and so on. Okay. Yes. Uh... Captain, from uh, your guidance, I can uh, I, I can see in here we you mentioned about the we will assign someone in our uh, team to mm -hmm. uh, to to discuss, for example, about the ground handling uh, point of view. Yeah, 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 and then uh, maintenance point of view. Yeah, sure. A technician who who will like uh, conduct the pushback. And yeah. Uh, yeah. and then uh, one more is uh, from the pilot who yeah. will like uh, imaginary that uh, he will like uh, uh, operate this aircraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we will like uh, have a feedback. And then how 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 about the the, the, the case in here? What we should uh, discuss about each uh, the division in here? For example, ground handling, what should we discuss about for this situation, for example? So, so uh, after that, after that, you need, your, your, your question is, that, is, is that the communication of the, the person to yeah. work in this uh, pushback? Yeah, the, the is interface. It possible? Yeah, you, you mean the interface between the, the, the driver, the, the, the tractor driver, the push driver and the cockpit communication between both of them? Yes, we will discuss about the communication in this yes. situation. And then yeah. it should be an, like, uh, uh, maybe it is a, a risk, for example. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, uh, refer to the film I show you. Uh, so the communication between cockpit and and taxi driver and the, and the push driver was not very good because uh, the driver saw that an airplane uh, was coming uh, behind the other one. So yeah. communication between uh, the driver and cockpit is is uh, quite uh, quite important. So I process see. to put in place uh, are, are very important for that. Yes. And then the the, the second maybe we can discuss about the procedure of uh, making clearance before pushback. So it, it should be also one more. Yeah, yeah, case. yeah, 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 also, yeah, push, uh, push back clearance. So it's a question of communication between the taxi driver, between the, the tug, uh, tug uh, driver and the cockpit, because the yes. taxi clearance is received by the crew. And after yes. that, the crew uh, ask uh, to the driver to to perform the, the push. So yes, it's it's uh, it's uh, an important question regarding uh, regarding the communication. Yes, yes. And it, it could be it could be it could be an issue. Uh, what, what kind of event? So miscommunication between cockpit crew and and ground uh, and ground ops uh, could lead uh, to uh, to to the accident. I yep. sh show you in the in the in the in the example in the video. Sorry. Okay, excuse so, me. Um, sorry. Um, so Pierre, would you like to move on to another group because we have yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because you know, know in here, yeah, uh, we don't have uh, any pilot to uh, you know advise That's on true. this situation, <laughs> on this scenario. It is really, really important to to get uh, view from the pilot, pilot in this yes. case. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, Thank you so much. You see, you see, in that case, in that case, you see that when you make up your 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 team. Uh, to analyze uh, the change, it's yeah. really essential to have experts coming from all parts of your organization, flight, cabin, maintenance, and so on. So, so you see 
on that example that it's quite important. It's essential to have a good team, a good expert at the right place. Yeah, so we focus on the ground handling and maintenance in, in, in yeah, yeah. our team, please. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, okay, no problem. No problem. <laughs> okay, Pierre, I will move you to the second group. Okay. Okay, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. See you. Xin phép mọi người ạ, à, giảng viên đang ở nhóm mà nếu mà mọi người muốn hỏi câu hỏi gì về giảng viên thì có thể hỏi trực tiếp luôn bây giờ ạ. À. Ok, đúng không? Thế thì hôm qua là cái phần kế hoạch plan mình. Vậy kế hoạch này thì chính là cái mà khi đã xác định được bên liên quan là VIAP, vậy VIAP phải làm gì? Thời gian nào? Đi trước hay đi sau? Đấy, nó chính là cái kế hoạch. Mình chỉ lưu ý thì xem là nó sẽ thay đổi như thế nào so với lại cái normal operation thôi. Chứ còn cái risk này, không cần phải đánh giá quá nhiều cái risk ở đây đâu. Đúng rồi. Chúng ta lưu vào risk management. Cái này là mình quản lý cái thay đổi so với cái chuyến bay thông thường. Thì bây giờ cái chuyến bay này nó là một chuyến bay up normal rồi. Thì nó sẽ như thế nào? Đấy, cái vậy thì vi áp thì là sẽ phải làm gì ạ anh? Không có phương tiện. Thì đấy, đây trong cái trên này có bạn vi áp thì bạn ấy vừa nói thôi. Dạ. Đây. đây là hàng hóa về 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 Fiat anh chị là đầu tiên là về nếu mà trường hợp mà uh, cái EBU hỏng thì cái một cái nguy cơ đối với nhân viên mặt đất ấy, thì như nói ban đầu ấy, là lúc mà di chuyển tiếp cận vào tạch truyền cả mũi ấy, là lúc này cái động cơ nó đã chưa tắt được thì phải luôn luôn hút xả những cái động cơ đang hoạt động thì là một cái rủi ro ảnh hưởng đến cái cái nguy cơ ảnh hưởng đến cái cái cái, cái uh, nhân viên mà khi mà tạch truyền thì Ok Pierre, I assign you to another group So các anh yeah. chị ạ, giảng viên ở đây Nếu mà các anh chị có thể muốn hỏi thêm giảng viên Thì có thể hỏi luôn ạ So here is a group about the co-activity during a scheduled turnaround. So like catering or general position. Ở nhóm này có ai có câu hỏi cho giảng viên không ạ? Hello chị ơi. Hello, hi. Dạ đây ạ, mọi người cứ thảo luận đi ạ, giáo viên ở đây để giúp đỡ mọi người đấy ạ. Hả? Không nghe thấy chị nói gì à? Sao chị bảo đang nói nói nhỉ? Được không? À, okay ạ. Mọi người cứ thảo luận ạ. Hay là mọi người có câu hỏi gì cho giảng viên không ạ? Không được à? À, dạ anh chị ơi Bây giờ mình có, có câu hỏi gì cho giảng viên không ạ Mình là nhóm 3 đấy ạ Là co-activities uh, Pierre, do you want just to go ahead This is group number 3 Yeah, yeah, no problem. If you have a, ju ju just if some group have some questions, uh, so find something. Group, the topic is co-activity during a schedule turnaround for yeah. coach and jetway position. So, um, you know, please, everybody. Uh, so uh, we uh, uh, talk about the uh, 
uh, turnaround uh, case and uh, we have uh, some uh, risk uh, like uh, um, damage uh, with the ground equipment uh, like the air bridge or the stair uh, when uh, brought to the aircraft yeah and uh, yeah. Uh, when the um, uh, upload the passenger uh, downstairs so uh, maybe uh, um, injury yeah okay yeah 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 sure yeah. and uh, and don't forget don't forget uh, the potential uh, damage to uh, to the uh, external uh, external staff people loading the aircraft uh, people uh, uh, going around walking around and so on so on. don't forget you 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 mentioned damage to the aircraft yes damage to passenger uh, incoming passenger yes but yeah. don't forget uh, the damage to people walking around to work uh, so the, the, the fuel guy uh, the loading uh, loading uh, team uh, and so on and so on yeah okay. yeah. yeah thank you À, vâng mọi người ơi, các anh chị có cái câu hỏi gì là nếu mà mình thực sự là chưa hiểu cái chủ đề này tại sao nó lại uh, lại lại bao gồm catering tại sao nó lại bao gồm uh, với lại uh, jetway uh, positioning không ạ? Thì các anh chị có thể là hỏi lại để bác breakdown tức là bác cái phân tích ra cái câu hỏi đấy để mình hiểu rõ. không hiểu thì cứ hỏi ạ. Dạ, dạ. Vậy đây là cái open discussion thôi, tức là cái hội là kiểu kiểu thảo luận mở thôi ạ. Nên là các anh chị có vấn đề gì thì mình cứ cứ hỏi, cứ trao đổi để mà uh, giảng viên, bởi vì mình mình đến từ rất là nhiều những cái phòng ban đúng không ạ? Ừ. Ờ, anh thấy nói có các chị đang hỏi, có thắc mắc hay các chị cứ hỏi đi. Dạ, chị chào ơi. Sorry, Pierre. Yeah. Um, as a lot of people come from a different background, and um, can you just maybe explain or break down the questions, the topic, uh, in the situation? For example, why it was the catering and jetway positioning? How was that, um, you know, fitting in the context of co-activity? Uh, I don't understand your question. <laughs> right, okay. So in the question, the topic is co activity during a schedule turnaround, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and in detail, it was catering and jet wave positioning. Uh, it's a jet wave positioning, it's a loading positioning, it's a, a fuel tank uh, positioning, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's everybody working around the, the aircraft during a turnaround. So Uh, you you unmark your disembark passenger. You put catering uh, uh, in the airplane. You put fuel. Uh, you you have uh, some maintenance uh, action. Uh, mm. so, so you load. You unload. Uh, mm. So you have a lot of people around the aircraft. Mm. So what we call we call that co-activity because a lot of people work at the same time in order that the aircraft live on time. You see. Yes. À, vâng, các anh chị ơi, thì trong cái câu hỏi này khi mà mình dịch ra tiếng Việt ấy, thì nó cũng sẽ chưa được rõ nghĩa. Ý là catering ở đây là cái việc mà mình bốc rỡ cái hàng hóa uh, từ cái việc hoặc là mình thêm những cái nguyên liệu, nhiên liệu bay ở trên uh, cho cái cái hoạt động máy bay. Uh, thì đây là cái hoạt động chung của tất cả các cái cái quá trình, quy trình để mà mình uh, lốt các hàng lên lên máy bay ấy, và các cái nhiên liệu nữa ở trên tàu bay. Thì bác ấy muốn là Uh, đây là cái hoạt động chung ở trong tàu đây thì mình sẽ phải uh, lường trước được những cái thay đổi như thế nào? Rồi cảm ơn em, tên tên em đánh bia tốt hơn chưa em? <cười> dạ, cũng vẫn bình thường anh ạ. <cười> ok. Vâng, uh, mọi người. Tên mày không biết bây giờ nhìn mặt mới rõ này. À, vâng mọi người tập trung uh, trong câu hỏi được không ạ ok anh Còn nếu mà mọi người vẫn chưa rõ thì chúng ta có thể quay lại và bọn em sẽ ở sai back vào phòng sau khi mà mọi người hiểu mọi người discuss thêm được không ạ nhưng mà bây giờ vấn đề là là mình phân tích quản lý sự thay đổi cho cái hoạt động này hả chị dạ dạ đúng rồi ạ à, em ơi anh có một góp ý chứ tức là À, hôm qua thì là ông Pierre dạy về cái uh, lý thuyết 
nhưng mà chưa có giới thiệu về một cái thực hành cũng như là một cái ừ. example về một cái process trong cái việc mình sẽ uh, nhận diện cái mối nguy đánh giá rủi ro cũng như là mình tiếp tục mình quản lý sự thay đổi như thế nào đó thì phải có ừ. một cái example thì anh có một cái cái image ừ. một cái hình dung về mình sẽ đi ừ. như thế nào nhưng mà okay. mới lý thuyết không mà nhảy về thì nó hơi khó khăn cho các chị yeah. em mà mà từ các phòng ban khác không phải là từ làm về ừ. safety rồi đó thì yeah. là hơi khó hình dung đó thì okay. à, có gì em trao đổi dạ. với lại trưởng uh, trưởng nhóm hay là admin giúp nhé dạ dạ uh, Pierre yeah. right yes. so it's still a bit of blurring in in the kind of theoretical uh, concept uh, mm -hmm. in apply with this situation so mm -hmm. perhaps can you show the slide to you know and explain the slide for this situation uh, for, for the case study for this case study For this case study, uh, yeah, at the, at, the, at the end, I, I show you how I handle that kind of uh, of, uh, of study. But the objective is just to, to work, to try to work. On that. And after that, we I, I show you how to how I can manage with that. Uh, if I give you the answer, the exercise is closed. You see what I mean? <laughs> Can you give them some like initial steps or, or like uh, where they can start on this? Ah, so, so initial steps, yeah. So first, who is involved in the, uh, who is involved in the uh, uh, turnaround? You, 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 you may just take into account the, uh, the uh, passenger embarking, disembarking. We can take into account the, uh, uh, the, uh, Uh, loading uh, loading guy and so on and so on so basically uh, in my in my in my study i will propose you that to take into account everybody so people walking around the aircraft for loading for unloading for fuel for maintenance and so on and and and, and after that uh, we, we need to know what kind of event may we face with during co activity uh, basically basically we have to To, to, to list uh, to list some hazard to list some uh, accident scenario and uh, we'll try to, to to see how to avoid that kind of uh, scenario for example uh, for example uh, if you if you load if you put the catering in your aircraft so you need to open the door if you open the door uh, without any any particular attention perhaps, your cabin attendant may fall down, uh, okay? Uh, when you perform uh, your walk around, when the crew, cockpit crew performs a walk around, you have a lot of vehicle, vehicle uh, running, uh, running around the aircraft. So uh, you, have, uh, uh, you have to take care of uh, in which way uh, people is walking, in which way uh, vehicle are, 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 are turning, for example, and so on and so on. So mm -hmm. you, you, you see that with co-activity, a uh, lot of people working at the same time on the same area, you may, you may raise uh, some hazard. So it's interesting to, uh, to, list, to list what kind of hazard or threat you may face with. And accordingly, after that, you will work on what kind of prevention measure I, I can put in place. You, you see, you see what I mean, or uh, I am clear enough, or, or not? Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, uh... I think that uh, 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 we uh, uh, already do the um, uh, evaluation of the turnaround activity, um, yeah. the hazard uh, identify, the yeah. um, uh, risk assessment, but uh, uh, we don't know uh, what to do next uh, after risk assessment. Uh, um, When you perform the risk assessment, so you use, uh, for example, a matrix uh, five by five. Either, either you stay in a control area, so green, green or yellow, and it's okay. You just monitor, uh, you just monitor your operation. If, if somewhere 
if somewhere you, you, you reach a red zone, you have to put in place some additional uh, defenses to avoid to, to be in, in this area. For example, uh, you have uh, too much people walking around during a turnaround, uh, so you may increase the risk of damage. Uh, so perhaps you have uh, to, uh, to, to limit uh, people working, working on an aircraft. So uh, perhaps first, uh, catering people. After that, uh, people in charge of fuel. After that, uh, people in charge of, uh, of maintenance. So perhaps you have to order uh, who is this working or on the aircraft during the turnaround. Okay, so it's, it depends on your analysis and you may, you may find uh, some, uh, uh, some, new, some new threats, some new hazard, and you can do that with a report from over your subcontractor and uh, also from over, over airline uh, in your country, throughout the world and so on. So. Uh, dạ vâng, anh chị uh, không biết là còn có câu hỏi nào nữa không ạ? Thì uh, mình có thể thảo luận thêm khi mà thầy uh, break down các vấn đề ra. Sau đó thì thầy sẽ quay trở lại. Được không ạ? Uh, thank you, Mr. Bia. But uh, I think that all step you have uh, just talk uh, uh, this is the risk management. Uh, I can feel about the risk management and uh, change management. Uh, what different? Yeah. Uh -huh. Change management, you, uh, you, you start from state A and you go to state B. So you, you, you have a one situation, you move to another one. It's management of change. Risk management, you evaluate likelihood of a scenario and severity of the accident. So uh, you, you evaluate the risk management is performed on One example, management of change is a generic term uh, to analyze uh, new operation. You, start, you, are, you have current operation and you move to other operation. So you change your operations, you change the process, procedure, and so on, equipment, and you analyze at each step. You have defined what kind of threat New, new hazard, new threat you may face with, and you assess the risk for each uh, situation. So management of change is, is, is a global approach, and risk assessment is uh, domain by, by domain, threat by threat. Uh, yes, uh, clear, uh, thank you, yeah. Thank you. What about the over group, Tien? Yes, uh, so I will leave the group for now. I will assign you to another group for now, and we can come back later. But that's okay. Okay, okay, okay. thank okay. you, everybody. Yeah. See you thank then. You. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Sắp xếp nó vào cái vị trí, Uh, ví dụ như là 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, D gì không theo cái SMS không ạ? À? Thật ra mình nghĩ thì cái đấy mình nghĩ là không cần vì nếu mà làm lâu ấy, làm một thời một cái present lâu thì mình phải làm đưa ra tức là có thể đánh giá rủi ro ở mức độ A, B, C, xanh đỏ. Dạ. Thế nhưng mà nếu mà với một cái present ngắn như thế này và thứ hai là với một cái topic mà thực sự ra mà nói giờ gần như theo mình thì cũng rất là khó để mà đưa vào đấy. Thế em làm tổ khác là cũng phải làm cái trên description nhé. Chứ còn nếu mà làm ở cái đấy thì được, mà thật ra thì nó hơi lâu. mình mô tả cái phạm vi mà nó ảnh hưởng nhé, trong hoạt động trong hoạt động nào của Như vậy là mình chỉ kết thúc ở đây thôi đúng không ạ? À, alo các anh chị ơi, em có bác PA, Captain PA ở trong này để uh, các anh chị có thể đưa ra cái câu trả lời của mình đối với bác trong cái tình huống này ạ. Thì em mời các anh chị phát biểu để cho các tên phía nghe thấy ạ. Đây là mình đưa ra các area. Uh, Pierre, yes. You here? Yeah. You here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I am here. Yes. Uh, so we will start the conversation now. The discussion? Yeah. Okay, we can. Yeah. Yes, uh, so everybody, please. 
uh, kindly show him what you guys has been discussed and what was the result and your method as well. Thank you. Tiên này cho mình hỏi tức là bây giờ là mình present luôn hay là mình sẽ present ở trước toàn thể cả lớp? Hay là bây giờ mình chỉ có thảo luận trước với thầy thôi? À, tức là bây giờ như kiểu là một cái câu thảo luận thôi chị ạ. À, à. Mình sẽ có những cái câu hỏi gì mình có thắc mắc gì thì mình sẽ nói chuyện với lại bác để để mình được giải đáp để giải đáp ạ. À, ok. Dạ. Thế là mình là nhóm mình có phải present trước lớp không ép nhỉ? Có ạ. Tức là đây có. là mình thầy vào là để gọi là mình mình tư vấn tư vấn và tư vấn thôi ạ. Còn lát nữa dạ, là dạ. present sau. Dạ đúng rồi ạ. Các anh chị có câu hỏi gì không ạ? Vậy em nhờ em nhờ chị Hải nói chuyện với thầy luôn là những cái mà nãy giờ mình anh chị em mình trao đổi ấy, xem là liệu nó có ổn chưa có cần phải thêm cái gì không để tí nó mình hoàn thiện thêm với chị Đã, mọi người cũng đóng góp thêm ý kiến vào nữa à, hai cái phim kia yeah, our group topic is about operation in adverse weather sand yeah. And uh, we plan to uh, present in uh, uh, six steps. Mm -hmm. And uh, step number one is a uh, study frame. Yeah. And uh, uh, firstly, uh, we want to talk about the uh, the location where the sandstorm uh, uh, usually happens. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and the time in the year. For example, the uh, in the uh, summer or in the uh, uh, winter, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. And uh, Captain Juan. Uh, Captain Juan, uh, uh, do you have any idea about the ống thông tốc máy bay bào mòn? Hi, Captain Pierre. Uh, my name Hi. is Juan. I, uh, I, uh, I uh, was absent yesterday because I have a flight and today I, uh, I can join the class. Sorry for the okay, first time to, uh, to absent. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah, and, and uh, I'm trying to catch up with the group, but uh, maybe it's, it's uh, slow. But about this few, uh, the group uh, believe in me that uh, I, I uh, Okay, I can have some guideline and some uh, some advice for our our team. So uh -huh. uh, I even haven't uh, know the the frame and the step the step uh, we have to go through. But the Miss Hai, uh, the lady uh -huh. who just talked to you, yeah, uh, will uh, try to guide and help me. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we go uh, first. First, uh, first one is the study frame. Um, uh, as Miss Hai say, they go through uh, the location. The location for this maybe happen in an uh, area with a sign, uh, like uh, in the Middle East uh, airport. With uh, in case in the the season they have a, a strong wind and uh, the sand blow, and that mm -hmm. may affect their, our aircraft operation. Mm -hmm. And uh, Australia also, Australia maybe, uh, yeah, I, I experienced maybe 10 years ago, I, I, I flew there, we have a sandstorm. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and, after, uh, that, what, uh, after that, what is interesting in this study is to see what uh, could be the worst scenario. Yeah, the worst. The worst scenario that affect the engine operation. Yeah, the worst uh, we we identify the worst scenario that may be engine flame out or high easy to and um, yeah, yeah, but, Not, yeah, but normally, yeah. yeah. Think about one. Uh, it you you are you you think about engine failure, but you have also uh, problem. You may face with some problem with uh, auxiliary power unit. You may face with some problem on ground, and so on and so on. So do not uh, do not concentrate or in flight. So in flight shutdown, for example, because you will have a lot of problem uh, on ground also. Uh, on ground, uh, and uh, and you may face also with some problem with uh, auxiliary power unit. So very often, 
pilot think about engine failure? Yes, engine failure for sure, because uh, you will be in flight uh, for that. Uh, but you may face with other problems during the stopover, uh, with the APU, with a lot of things. For example, for, for example, uh, a runway uh, with sand, is, is it a contaminated runway or not? For you, yeah, yeah. for you <laughs> as a pilot, is it a contaminated runway or not? Okay, you yeah. tell me yes, you tell me yes or no. Just, just, uh, just uh, to 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 play with to play with that. You have a yes, contaminated. Yes. It's contaminated yes. for you. Okay, you fly on what, what, what kind of airplane? The Airbus. Uh, Boeing seven eight seven. Uh, seven eight seven. Never mind. So uh, you consider a contaminated runway. Okay, what kind of performance do you use for landing? Yeah, for landing, we, yes, we have to uh, consider about the contaminated runway. We need to do the performance for landing on contaminated yeah. runway. At, yeah. at what, kind, that, uh, what kind of contamination do you take into account? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? For, for yeah. abuse. I don't remember. I don't remember Boeing. I flew Boeing a long time ago. I, I finished on, on Airbus, and on Airbus you have contaminated with water, with ice, with snow. But sand, you don't have any any, any reference to sand. You don't have any reference to, to break friction. You don't have any reference for that. So, sure, it will be interesting to consider uh, the uh, runway covered by sand as contaminated. But we don't have any 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 information to calculate takeoff performance or landing performance. You see what I mean? That's right. Yes, yes. Uh, I got your point. Yeah. So so uh, we 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 spoke about we spoke about in flight. Yes, in flight shutdown. Yes, why not? But you have also unreliable airspeed due to send. You may have some uh, auxiliary power unit problem. You may have a lot of things. So that's the reason why it's, it's, it's interesting uh, to, to analyze when you perform that kind of study. Uh, it's, it's interesting to have a lot of experts coming from everywhere, maintenance, a cabin, and so on, uh, because you may, you, 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 you may perhaps uh, raise uh, some problem you do not, uh, you do not uh, think about uh, before. OK. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, we move to the other uh, to the other uh, team. Uh, I don't remember the last one. The last one was uh, okay. The last one. I will move you to the last one here. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay, this is the last group. Yes, group number okay. five. Yes. Giảng viên đang ở trong nhóm nhé. Nếu mà mọi người có muốn hỏi câu hỏi gì với giảng viên thì mọi người có thể hỏi ạ. Hello, uh, Captain Pia. Hello, how are you? Hello, and uh, we are making uh, our safety risk tolerant. Yeah. And uh, we try to make the table, but uh, now we just make the table with uh, the item only and uh, the value we put inside is okay for you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah because no uh, we just cut outside, we put uh, the level how we see the, the 4C or 3D or 2D. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put yeah, okay, okay. It's very subjective. As I mentioned, severity is quite clear because severity, you you lost uh, the hull, you lost some uh, some people, you have some death, but uh, likelihood is quite difficult because it depends if you take... Uh, 
uh, yeah, the experience in your uh, in your domain, in your fleet, in your company. Uh, so, so it's it's quite subjective. So, but never mind. You 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 need to have to to have a process, and after that you amend it. Uh, it's no problem. It's not a problem. Okay. Okay. Thầy nói thế là nhóm mình là xong rồi à? Thức. <cười> chưa em chưa em đang tính hỏi tính lại nhau là, là ví dụ như một cái này cho là 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 mấy nè ví dụ như là là 3D 3B hay là 2C gì đấy bây giờ em đưa một cái trước đó. bây giờ mình cho một cái là dầu chờ ít là mình có thể là, là phải bay chờ thì cái này nó xảy ra thường xuyên không cái này nó phải an toàn gì không cái này là nếu mà xác định về mức độ nghiêm trọng nó là lớn đúng không nó nó lớn thì uh, nó cũng em nghĩ nó cũng chỉ là là major thôi là major là là major là là ghê đó nha d là là, là là minor thôi đó còn bình thường đúng, là tất đúng cả rồi mức, nhất là e e sau mới đây d như vậy là mình xác định nó là là, là đi đúng không? Ờ, dầu chờ này thì mình có thể handle được nhưng mà em nghĩ nó là chỉ là e thôi nhưng mà nó xảy ra thì sẽ thường xuyên thì nó là là là, 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 là nó phải là bốn e Đấy. cái cái uh, severe, severity của nó thì là là là, là, là e thôi nó là e. e đúng không? E, e thì nó thuộc vào e thì, thì uh... nó xảy ra thường xuyên hay không thì nó là 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 chỗ nào thì mình sẽ cho nó là thì em nghĩ đó là sẽ là 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 occasional đó, thì nó là mức 4 đó. thì nó là rất nhiều chuyến bay của mình là chờ nhiều mọi người có ok với cái cái mức ví dụ như là shop up for holding thì mình là cho là 4 nhưng mà cái mức okay. nhưng mà cái mức 4 anh đọc ở trong này anh thấy ghi là như vậy là không thường xuyên tức là khả năng xảy ra là không thường xuyên đấy, cái năm là nếu nhiều mà nhất. thường xuyên thì nó lại là mức 5 cái năm là là rất nhiều là coi như là hoàn toàn đấy là frequency à. luôn đấy là gần như là 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 nhưng mà cái này người ta vẫn còn có thể là handle được thì em nghĩ là nó chỉ rồi là nhất trí à. ý kiến của anh nhất trí ở mức 4 4 thì nó vẫn nằm ở cái màu vàng nhá thì mình ở đây là mình, mình em tích luôn cái là yellow oh, không 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 cấp cho người lao động tham gia đến cái hoạt động kéo giáp các cái thiết bị communication hiện đại anh Phong ơi anh anh ừ. có đang typing không anh? Ừ, typing cái gì à? Rồi, không biết Lát. là bị bị câu bị mắc vào cái bàn phím không? Hiện tại hiện tại là ok rồi anh không typing gì hết. Nhóm mình có cần thêm thời gian nhiều không ạ? À cho em hỏi em ơi cái uh, ví dụ như cái cái bài này thì thì là bây giờ bọn anh để mà trình bày thì là sẽ trình bày uh, theo các cái bước mà thầy dạy được vâng. còn chưa nắm được rõ chưa nắm hết được đâu ạ tại vì là thầy xong rồi là thầy cũng sẽ đi qua các bước mà thầy <cười> sẽ giải quyết cái vấn đề này nữa nên em nghĩ là cũng là thời gian khá là ngắn để mọi người thảo luận nữa với là vừa mới học hôm qua xong hôm nay đã thảo luận này thì nó sẽ hơi có nên em nghĩ là nó ừ. cũng đơn giản thôi không phải là khó phức tạp đâu nên là không biết là mọi người có cần thêm thời gian nữa không anh nhưng mà mấy giờ thì là ấy nhỉ mấy mấy giờ thì là hết cái tức là bên nhóm của anh sẽ trình bày trước à hay là sao ấy à em không biết là nhóm nào sẽ trình bày đâu à, <cười> biết nhóm nào trình bày trước nhóm nào chắc là sẵn sàng hơn thì trình bày trước thôi nó cũng không có thứ tự là phải đi nhóm 1, nhóm 2 hay nhóm 3 đấy nhóm nào trước cũng được thì mọi người có thể là dành 5 phút nữa để kiểm tra là ai sẽ là người trình bày chắc là chỉ có khoảng một đến nếu mà muốn thì hai người trình bày cũng được chắc là một đến hai người thôi và có thể là dành 5 phút nữa để À, chỉ ra nhé vâng. Ok vâng ạ. Phút, vâng. Cho cho vâng. anh xin thêm 5 phút nữa vâng. Xong là mình sẽ vâng. Cử ra một người để trình bày cái cây này Vâng yeah, Ok Thank you em Ở đâu Hà Nội Hoàn toàn đồng quan điểm của chị là em Lúc đầu em cũng nghĩ đến là dùng cái bộ 2 là đồng nhất 
bởi vì cái đình cái này của mình nó chỉ có một event thôi event đấy là đã diễn ra rồi là tây đi luôn đúng không ạ thì ở bên tay trái của mình là một loạt cái thread đúng không ạ action của mình là gì action của mình là các đơn vị chính xác chính xác chính xác đúng rồi bên tay phải của mình là sẽ là action được action được khi mà các đơn vị của khác miss những cái đó thì là action nó cần là nhanh nhất đấy sẽ bôi hai đấy là gọn nhất cho cái cây chính xác thế thì chị nghĩ rằng là thực ra thì mình cũng chỉ thay đổi cái phương pháp trình bày và cái này thôi thế thì mình nên dùng powerpoint mà mình sử dụng thực ra những cái dữ liệu của mình sẽ đổi lên trên đấy đúng rồi mình phát triển đấy mình sẽ phát triển thêm thôi đấy là những cái mà mình nhìn thấy là nguy cơ nhất là mình sẽ tập trung vào chứ còn trong một cái buổi uh, uh, ngắn như này thì không thể làm hết được tất cả các việc đâu mình tập trung vào những cái quan trọng nhất thôi và sau khi sâu vào như thế thì sẽ đúng theo cái luồng mà mình được học như được cần cái chỉ đấy mình nghĩ là như thế Đấy, chơi 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 Đang chơi khoảng 5 phút nữa thì có xong có ok không ạ? Mọi người sẽ xong thảo luận Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, they are just wrapping up. Two minutes. Two. Maybe one. Yeah, they are wrapping up and showing who is presenting, discussing, okay. who is the person. Yeah, so they are very finishing.
very the last. Okay, okay, that's fine. So uh, <laughs> just uh, you need you need uh, how how long do you need five uh, minutes? No. We're just wrapping up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think they just say yeah. I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I will no close all the rooms now, and you will see them in like one minute. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Here we are all back. Oh. Okay, that's fine. So uh, I suppose the team makeup has been made at random uh, because uh, sometimes I saw that uh, some people, some group, were not uh, very aware of the of the uh, of the exercise. Uh, so it's uh, once again, it's quite important. Uh, it's quite important when you make up your team uh, to have uh, experts coming from all all the discipline. And uh, for example, uh, when you speak about uh, turnaround, you need to have people from ground handling, uh, people from uh, uh, from maintenance, uh, people from flight, and so on. So, so, so it's uh, it's quite uh, it's very important to have the right the right expert at the right place. Okay, so uh, 20 minutes to noon, so 20 minutes uh, to lunch. Uh, I suppose uh, uh, I propose the first group uh, presents the way uh, he proceeds uh, for the study. Uh, if we have time, uh, I propose you my, uh, my view of the problem. Uh, otherwise, we do that after the lunch. Is it okay for you? Hello, Chen. Hello. Ah, uh, please go ahead. Hello, hello. Did you hear me? Yes. You hear me? yes no? We can hear you. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So I suggest that the first group present the the result of uh, its uh, and the the conclusion of its uh, its analysis. Uh, after that, I show you how I could. Uh, I could handle uh, angle the subject uh, as mentioned yesterday and I say again uh, there is no one way to proceed uh, so that's the reason why during the different example I show you I show you different way uh, to handle the management of change okay so if uh, somebody from a group one uh, would like to uh, explain a little bit the, the exercise what they what are the conclusion and how they plan to proceed 
for this uh, kind of change, uh, we will be happy. Cô Hải ơi, mình ở group nào đấy? Sorry. Group 4 luôn ạ. À. Thank you. Em mind yeah yeah we uh, the first group present to everybody and after that i show you how we could handle uh, handle this uh, this example for example yeah uh is other group okay or is it has to be group one uh, it depends uh, never mind never mind yeah. uh, right. we, we start to group one two or three or we start uh, uh, as you want, it's not a problem for me. No, 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 it's not a problem. It, it, it's a good piece. <laughs> okay, so group one is yes, we, uh, we ask another group to present instead of group one. And because of the timing, so we okay, no one group before lunch, and the rest will be after lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, group four, ready? Yeah, okay. Okay, hi, hi everyone. My name is uh, Juan. Today I just joined uh, the group. Yeah, sorry, the, I, I've just informed you, but uh, yesterday I was absent. And uh, thanks to uh, all the members in my group, they uh, believe in me. I hope I will not disappoint them. <laughs> All right, uh, my topic is uh, operating in adverse weather condition. Uh, in here, they say about the sand. Uh, so aircraft operating in uh, condition of uh, sand blow. So first, the study frame, we can identify with uh, the location of uh, the, the sand blowing uh, in uh, location. It may happen in anywhere with the sand, with strong wind, maybe in Australia or in uh, Middle East, and uh, the season with the strong wind. So that really affects the aircraft operation, not only the airplane, but on the ground, the vehicle on the ground also, and the people around there uh, also affect with the sand, uh, sand storm or sand blowing. And what risk we can identify from uh, from the, the effect of uh, sand blowing. Um, so uh, on the ground, normally the, air, the aircraft have to uh, normal operation, we have to start the auxiliary power unit. But in this situation, can we start the APU or not? So normally we will not start with the APU because the, once the APU is uh, operating, the, inlet, uh, the inlet door, can open and the sand can uh, ingest in the inlet door. That may affect the, uh, the APU. So normally um, 
ground on on the ground we have to use the ground power unit yeah and um, other thing that uh, affect is uh, the performance of the airplane when moving on the ground especially during the takeoff condition uh, during the takeoff we pilots we have to identify the uh, runway is contaminated or not Normally, we got the uh, wet runway uh, or runway cover with snow, icing, but here we have a sun, um, sun blowing. Uh, if it is on the runway, it, 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 it depends on the de degree of the sand, uh, the, how thick is the sand uh, cover the runway. So pilots, they have to uh, decide uh, what kind of uh, uh, contaminated runway we can uh, calculate for the airplane to operate in this uh, situation. Yeah, once uh, airborne, airborne that uh, the sand can uh, ingest in the engine. Um, sorry, I, I talk about the ground uh, a little bit more about the uh, about the ground. How to to prevent to uh, aircraft damage or a negative effect of the sand uh, on the ground. Yeah, the engineer may have to cover the pitot, uh, the pitot tube, the static port, and cover uh, the engine uh, inlet cow so that um, prevent the sand from uh, entering those uh, um, very uh, um, easy to be affected area for the airplane order to operate. And uh, how it affect uh, in-flight performance. So in, uh, in flight, uh, if uh, pilots have to, have to uh, fly through this, of course, pilots never want to fly there through this. They try to avoid it at their own possible in order to have a, a safe flight. But, in case of in, in, in flight, if we encounter this, that may affect the airplane operation, may be uh, uh, airspeed unreliable due to the sand ingest into the pitot tube, the static port, and uh, that may affect the, the it may provide by the pilot erroneous information. So if the pilots do not have uh, any uh, solution, correct solution to uh, uh, to fly, to identify this situation uh, that may lead to a catastrophic uh, accident. Yeah. Uh, either, uh, yeah, that is the risk identified that we have to uh, face with. And during landing, well, can we land or not? Yeah, how, how is, uh, how this affect the landing uh, of the airplane, uh, how, how it, how, how does it affect the um, airplane rolling on, uh, on the ground and the uh, landing distance and the directional control also um, be affected by the, the sand. It depends on the degree, the, the, degree, the thick of the sand uh, on uh, the runway surfaces. Uh, yes, the, so, so that, that are the, the risk that we have to identify. And to the identify all the risks that we may have to face with. Um, benchmark, uh, sorry, uh, people who involved in this, <clears throat> people who involved in this, there are some, uh, all, almost all the people um, who involved in the flight safety should be involved in this uh, scenario. Uh, the dispatcher who have to uh, provide pilots with uh, all the document, all the information they need to collect for the, the, the flight. And um, of course, engineer you know, should be involved how to protect uh, the airplane in those uh, sand uh, situation. Um, pilots, of course, uh, very important, uh, have to uh, identify the airplane. Uh, is it really? safe to fly in this situation or not. They have to do the external check carefully on the inlet uh, um, pitot tube, the static port, and they have to uh, also cooperate with the representative of the allies to, 
to fix uh, those problem if the aircraft need to be covered or to be towed into the hangar to protect the, the airplane. And uh, yeah, those uh, people need to be involved in the, um, in this uh, uh, situation. So we identify the, the frame, the people involved, the, and the benchmark we have to see. Well, in, in this situation, what is pure? Yeah, your your analysis uh, very... we can learn from the what? Yeah, what uh, we can yeah. learn from the pre pre case. Yes, uh, so, sorry. Go no, go no, ahead. No, 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 no. Uh, if you can, uh, if you uh, uh, I'm sorry. No, no. Up to now, your 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 presentation is is very expanded. So very nice. Uh, J -j just uh, yeah continue continue uh, i'm very interesting by your by your approach and uh, yeah continue that's fine <laughs> thank you captain pierre <laughs> the ben benchmark normally when facing with, the, with this situation pilots they always they always think about if these situation have already happened or not what they can learn from the previous experience that is a very expensive lesson for all the pilots to learn from this situation. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That that is. Uh, then they compare with this uh, uh, present situation. Is it possible to to fly the aircraft or not? If not, no, no they have to de deny the the fly. If if they are in, uh, in this situation, they cannot. Oh, they have a, a better solu solution in this situation how to operate it uh, how to operate the aircraft in this uh, situation uh, yeah and um, if they operate in this situation how the aircraft will fly safely and on the uh, experience need to be uh, on the data should be collected from those uh, from this situation in order for the next uh, flight, if they can, uh, they, if they had to face with this situation, they can learn from uh, this experience. So data collection on the re relevant unit can involve in this uh, data co collection for the flight. Uh, pilots have to make a report how it affect the airplane in this situation. Uh, how is the fly instrument instrument on the uh, the aircraft uh, uh, um, the read, uh, reading in this uh, sand uh, blowing uh, scenario um, and does it affect the engine the EZT uh, the engine uh, instrument the speed the altitude what does it affect so they have to make on the report. Uh, for that ATC also through uh, pilots uh, report the ATC also report their um, uh, number uh, and anything reported from pilot and need to be re uh, recorded by the ATC um, yeah and the uh, dispatcher also need to uh, um, record on the flight that data provided for the pilots uh, in order to retrieve in the future flight and engineer also. So all, almost on the uh, unit who uh, concentrate, uh, who uh, contribute in this uh, situation need to record uh, the data. And how to fly safely in this uh, situation? In the, um, can we fly in the, the sand blowing or not? Yeah, that is the question and it it depends on the severity of the sand uh, blowing in this situation that pilots and uh, from the data collection before the pilots uh, and the operation personnel will decide whether to take the airplane to fly or not and of course as a pilot we have to avoid this situation at one cost if we cannot avoid how can uh, we fly safely in this situation, this is the uh, each airline they they have uh, their uh, quick reference uh, handbook procedure to fly in this situation. Then uh, normally, first avoid if we can avoid, we will fly. Uh, have to choose to fly safely through this situation. As a pilot procedure, normally uh, the sand 
ingest into the engine, it may affect the corrosion of the engine blade. So, and uh, the EZD exhausted the, the temperature of the uh, engine, exhausted gas the temperature, uh, they have need to reduce. So the power they supply with uh, very low power, power and low speed uh, also um, to, uh, to limit the damages uh, that may affect the en engine. Yeah, and uh, normally um, they avoid if they can, uh, as I already mentioned about that. Um, and uh, the last one is uh, incident, incident scenario barrier. So it's, it's just the same as I just told uh, before and uh, how to prevent uh, the aircraft least damage in this situation. And yeah, the mechanic need to cover the pitot the tube, the static port, the if you are not uh, to operate in this situation, um, yeah, the pilot have their procedure to fly through this, and uh, from the data collection, uh, the safety department need to uh, have uh, air some uh, notice, some guideline for all the airlines member who can. Uh, learn from this situation and what they can learn from this uh, situation or in this situation aircraft need to be grounded or if you have to fly you fly uh, with uh, what kind of uh, technique you fly that is the safety department of the airline will work uh, through the data collection they work on this in order to prevent any um, negative effect on the uh, operation uh, of the uh, of the fly through the sand uh, blowing uh, situation. Um, that is uh, all my uh, presentation. Uh, if you have any comment or any question, please go ahead. So thank you for your presentation. Very comprehensive, very clear. So nice, uh, nice. It, it, it is how to start, you, you know how to start a management of change. So it's quite, uh, quite good. Uh, so what I propose you uh, for me, if your colleague have some question, you raise a question. Otherwise, it's, uh, we are close to noon. I suggest we, you, we are going to lunch. We came back at 1.30 and I will show you how I would like to manage the, that kind of event. And after that, we continue with the other group. Do you agree with that? Yeah, yes, thank you, sir. Yeah, Tien, Tien, are you, are you there? Hello? Yes, we're here. Hello? Ah, okay. So uh, if, if, if you don't mind, so it's noon, I suppose we, we stop now. We start at 1.30 with, uh, with my presentation regarding my view of this event. And after that, we start with the other group. You agree? Yes. So we come back at 1.30. Yes. 1.30, that's fine. Yes. Thank you yes. very much. Yes. Good lunch. Yes. Have a good breakfast. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Vâng ạ, mọi người quay lại vào 1 giờ 30 Vâng, hẹn mọi người một rưỡi ạ. Vâng. Chúc mọi người có buổi trưa ngon ngon miệng ạ. <cười> dạ vâng ạ. Rồi. Đúng rồi, em nhớ là ngày xưa dùng sau đấy là là bắt đầu là thử nghiệm. Chị Nguyên chị này đúng không? Tại sao không phải là chị Nguyên? Em chị Nguyên quá nhiều rồi đấy con. <cười> Hãy subscribe 
Tapi kalau kita lihat dari sisi kita 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 Nào, em gửi cho anh nó sửa sửa file audio bằng pdf thì nếu mà nó in nhanh in pdf in pdf để người ta xem nhanh còn ai không xem cái máy đâu đúng không sửa file nhưng mà cả cái sai đấy file đấy cũng sửa được đúng không file ai này sửa tốt ừ. sửa giống như em vừa sửa ừ. còn file pdf này là để xem trên điện thoại nó dễ rồi rồi anh cảm ơn em 